Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Hi, folks. Welcome back. And to my new viewers, welcome. This is uh, this is pretty bad. Even I'm pissed. And I'm not gonna even going to mince words here. This is a clip of a ceremony that was in the White House recently. And Barack Obama was there. I'll even say President Obama to be respectful because I'm trying to make a point. You're going to see after the ceremony, President Biden, who I dislike tremendously. But you have to understand, I respect the office. If I was there, I would shake the hand of President Obama and say, Mr. President, sir, former president, got to show respect. Same with Joe Biden. I would say, Mr. President, sir, even though I think both of them... <laughs> Some of the two, maybe the two worst presidents in a row we've ever had. Now, that being said, look what happens. Now, these clips come from a Tucker Carlson piece tonight. And I'll tell you something. This shows the arrogance and the conceit of these people. When I say these people, I don't mean just President Obama. I mean the progressive Democrats in general. Uh, let's watch. You'll get a better idea. It's uh it's pretty bad. Now look at that. The Speaker of the House, the next in line of the presidency after the vice president, turns her back on the president and walks away. And where are they all? Let's look. And there they all all around the real president of the United States, for lack of a better term, Barack Obama. Now, President Obama, former President Obama, is really and truly the president. This proves he's been calling the shots from the beginning. And look at Biden standing there by himself. You know, I'm not a big fan of Joe Biden, either the first lady. But I'll tell you the truth, if I were her, I would be pissed. And look who's standing right in the middle of that crowd with President Obama. You can see her, her right shoulder. The current Vice President Kamala Harris. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let's listen on. That's the President of the United States in his own house. Shunned. Nobody would talk to him. So Biden wandered off looking vacant as a crowd for Look at that. The back turned from the vice president of the United States onto the president. That's disgusting. I don't like Joe Biden. I don't like Barack Obama. I think they were both horrible presidents. That's not the point. It's the disrespect for the ceremony in the office. Look at all the... All the all the, all the fans all smiling. Mr. President, Mr. President, but they're talking to Barack Obama. And watch now. This Biden's looking like, what the F is going on? And there's Kamala Harris. Backstabbing snot. Unbelievable. Let's listen on. Formed around a former president, Barack Obama, who was obviously deeply grateful for the attention. And then it got worse. It got much more poignant than that. Watch Biden try to horn in on the conversation swirling around Obama. Now look at this. He's got his hand on his shoulder. He's saying, hey, I'm the president. Hey, Barack, we were together for eight years. What are you doing? Oh, look at all the fans just, just smiling their behinds off to the real president of the United States. We all knew that anyway, but this just confirms it. Let's get, let's continue. Everyone involved in that conversation, including Kamala Harris, who supposedly works for Biden, ignored Biden completely. Biden desperately tried to get Obama's attention. He puts his hand on Obama's shoulder. He even calls him Barack, like they're friends. But Obama blows him off. He acts like Biden's not even there. Ask yourself if you have ever in your life seen anything sadder than this. Now, you have to ask yourself, what's really going on? And it's incredibly obvious. They say pictures speak a thousand words. This speaks 10,000 words. 
And I'll tell you honestly, what I would do tomorrow, if I was Jill Biden, I would tell her husband, Joe, call Kamala Harris into the Oval and have a little tete-a-tete with her, a little one-on-one, and tell her, who the F are you to turn your back on me? I'm the President of the United States. You respect the office, not the person. Just like in the military, you salute the rank, not the individual. To turn your back on me like that and embarrass me. Yeah, I know I'm just an empty suit and I was picked so the party could beat Trump. I get all that. But to be that in my face about it and insulting, I would turn on the party. But here's the problem. They're going to turn around and tell President Biden, you want to make a big deal out of this? You want to prove that you're just an empty suit, not the president? We're not going to protect you anymore, your son or your family from the Justice Department. How would you like that? You run your mouth. You complain publicly, we'll crucify you. We'll pull the 25th Amendment or worse, impeachment when the Republicans take over and the Democrats in the Senate will go along with it and you'll be the first president ever, ever to be thrown out of office by the Senate of the United States, ever. Andrew Johnson missed it by one vote. And that's what they're going to tell him. I would be furious. His wife must be so pissed. Anyway, let's let's uh, let's listen on. It's uh, incredible. Now look at the look on his face. Look how confused he looks. Like what the hell is going on here? What the hell is going on? And there they are. Finally, he goes Brock. Rock. Now, can't tell me that Obama doesn't know his hand is on his shoulder. See him turn his shoulder and just ghost him completely. Just ghost him completely. That, folks, is disrespect on a high, high level. And let me give you the long and the short of it. Everybody that voted for Trump in 2020, these morons think are just crazies and nut bars and should be ignored completely and not even left in the country as citizens. A lot of them think that. But here's the sinister part. These narcissistic a-holes just showed you all the Democrats and all the people, for that matter, that voted for Joe Biden for president. We don't give a damn about you either. We're here for the power and we're here for the control. To do that to a sitting president, my God, my God, shows your arrogance and your conceit. And it shows the fact that I'm former President Obama and I'm still President of the United States. And I don't give a damn who voted for who. And that's what the Democrats really and truly think about you. Think about that the next time you vote. Until the next time, goodbye and good luck.